Hi, welcome back to our tutorial. I realized that there are loads of ways to draw fashion illustration that you can learn from other artists, and this is my go-to way to do it. I'm using a Louis 100 gram A4 sketchbook and sketching pencils. You may need an HP pencils, a 2B, and a 6B for the depth. I like using a small tip eraser as my drawing canvas is small, then I will have a better control of what I want to erase. First, we draw the frame from the head to the body. You can draw an oval to represent her head. For me, I will draw the shape of the head as shown in the picture. Then I draw an upside down trapezoid as an upper body and a trapezoid as a lower body. I base on the waistline to separate them into two. You can see the different length also represents how the position will be. For limbs, I just draw lines to show how the direction goes and also to show the length of the limbs. After that, I would like to draw a face. The face is the soul of the drawing for me. We will create another tutorial to talk about how to draw a face. I draw a line to show where the eyes will lie. I separate it into three parts. Then I draw an almond shape. Since the model is looking on the right side, the pupils are also located on the right corner of the eye. Then do the same on the right eye, but a bit smaller. Then we are drawing a nose. We draw a guiding line from the end of the left pupil and another line from the middle of the right eye. That is the width of the nose. We can draw the shape of the nose based on it. After that, we roughly draw the lips. To avoid drawing too big, the leaf of the mouth should be about two times of the nose or even less.
at this point our face may exceed a bit of the frame for the face this is fine if you didn't draw the face dramatically huge then we can adjust a bit of the shape of the face and draw in the Another thing to remember is not to draw a straight line on the neck. Then we start to draw the clothes. We draw the shape of the jackets first and add the details later.
In the picture, the jacket appears shorter on the left and its ends near the waistline. The right side is a bit longer and and longer than the waistline.
when we draw the sleeves, add the wrinkles whenever movements goes like elbows. I shall make more videos about how to draw clothes. When all the shapes of the clothes are done, I like to go back to the face and add some shades and details. I'm using 2B to add the shadows. I am also using the crossing method. It's the way to use lines on the shadows of the neck.
The neckline is a bit frizzy with short and thin tassels. We can add some curly lines to show it. Now we are adding shadow and details to the jacket and the dress. I like to draw some rectangles to represent the zipper. As you can see, this jacket is, a, is quite plain. Other than the obvious details like buttons and zippers, you also need to add some stitches. Since we draw the jacket quite small, we just draw a thin line to it. Then I use an HP pencils to paint the shadows. We focus more on the wrinkles areas. You may wonder why we need a different shade of gravite pencils. In this part, we would like to 
put some shadows between the jacket and the top. I was using 2B, but if I use 6B, you can see uh, the jacket stands out a lot. As it's sketching, I avoid painting a lot of shadow, so I use lines to express the shadow. Compared to the left side and the right side, adding enough details and shadow make a big difference. After the left side of the jacket, we will finish the left sleeves and hand. As the same as drawing the limbs, we draw a line first and based on it, we outline the sleeve. We are observing two things, the movement and the length of the jacket. We draw some wrinkles or a bit curvy lines on the movement areas.
Drawing hands is a difficult part. You need to practice more to make it perfect. In the photo, the shadow of the jacket is too dark. It's just a black color. But you don't have to go so realistic. Instead, we just draw some lines on it.
Now we move on to the right side. We draw the lines for the wrinkles and paint the shadow. Don't be afraid to use the darker graphite to create the shadow to make the object pop. The model is wearing a croc leather crossbody, so I draw a very light croc pattern on the strap to show it.
Now we finally move on to her dress. Thank you so much for keeping watching this video. I know it's so long. On her waistband, there are also two small tassels lines like the leg line. What I love about this dress is not only its vibrant color but also how the designer uses the stripes lines on this dress. When we draw the stripes, we have to be aware of not drawing very straight. You should follow the curve of the waist to draw instead. Now we are drawing the bottom of the dress. When you draw at the midway, you may find the proportion not so right able to erase so you can have a better outcome. I've drawn some lines before to guide me on how the stripes will go. I just need to draw the lines on top of them. Remember when you draw the stripes, follow the flow of the dress.
then you can bolden the stripes to finish this dress at the hatching on the shadows areas. For the boost, I just want to hash in the process as I was rushing out. So I just draw the shape of them. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time.